Good. Ah. That's what we've been looking for. We good. <laughs> Whew. Oh, my income is sure not outcome. When Friday rolls around, I'm broken in some. What I'm making, somebody's taking. Now, here I go a little further. In hey, home. good morning, y'all. This is Pastor Murray, and today is December 28, 2023, and we are, uh, you know, in the last week of, of 2023, and our target fish today is sheet set. We are fishing the uh, bridge out to St. George Island in Florida, not too far from Apalachicola. We're going to be here for the next few days, and... Uh, this is the first time I fished this particular bridge, this area, but I understand it's a hot spot for sheep's head, and that's what we hope to catch today. We have some live shrimp, and I'm going to be using a bottom sweeper jig, and uh, I've got three different setups. I've got the bottom sweeper, a uh, three quarter ounce, and I've got uh, a drop rig and uh, a Carolina rig all the way up to the hook. And uh, so we're going to try, I could say, three different ways, uh, all with uh, pieces of live shrimp. I'll probably break the shrimp in half to uh, conserve bait. Because these things are, you know, they call them convict fish, not only because of their stripes, but also because they steal your bait. So uh, this is a dropper rig I've got. I've got a one ounce weight tied directly on. And um, size one alt um, hook on i'll put the links in but we're going to see which one produces my bet is today that all of them will produce so we're going to check out some of these bridge pilings uh see what happens uh i really love to get sheep said uh, one of the best tasting saltwater fish and inshore fish that you're going to catch and uh so let's see what happens uh wish me luck thanks so much for watching and god bless let's catch some fish y'all whoop, whoop. hey y'all just want to give you an update on the weather and the water temperature the water temperature is 56.8 degrees the air temperature is uh the low this morning was 54 degrees probably up to about 57 58 degrees right now so i'm just not getting out uh to the bridge they've uh, the old bridge they use as a fishing pier but plenty of, of pilings around both bridges with barnacles growing and you know it's just a super setup for sheephead i'm uh, gonna give it a try here and uh, see what happens y'all i uh, uh, like i see some fish on my uh, graph recorder here Let's see what happens. Turn the camera around so you can see if I get a bite. Fish. Current's flowing pretty good. I had to switch from a one ounce of drop sinker to a two ounce to keep it on bottom. I had to fill the uh, sheet set. Uh, Oh, I felt something that they uh, they steal your bait so quick. Usually, you just there you go. 
I got fish on, fish on, y'all. Fish on. Uh-oh. Got off. Ooh, man. That felt like a good one. Wow. Woo. Let's try that again. Oh, man. That was a don't. The old uh, adage is that you have to set the hook before he bites. And uh, but what the trick is, is to let it down to the bottom, fill the weight, and just when you uh, raise your rod up, if you feel extra weight or no weight at all, you go ahead and tighten up, just pull it on up. See if we can get into the rhythm here. There's definitely something there. That's not good. Work the bottom a little bit, then we'll come up five feet and try it. Five feet again and try it. But that bite that I just had was on the bottom. There he is. Oh. He got it. Sure, he got my bait. Nope. Okay. Let's try it again. He fell a little bit too far away from the piling. You got to get right up against the piling. Let's try it again. And uh, I'm using on this reel, using 17 pound monofilament. Those uh, barnacles and oyster shells uh, cut that line in heartbeat. And you want to get them away from those pilings if you hang them. Uh, just back pedal on this kayak, instant reverse, and get them away from the piling. No. Nah. Missed him. Let's try it one more time. I'm actually using a drop shot uh, hook. You never know what you're going to hang up with on these pilings. Uh, black drum, red drum, uh, sea trout. Never know. But the target fish is sheep pit sheep's head sometimes you know we might have to switch our setup here but, uh, let's try one more time I'll tell you what i'm gonna try a whole shrimp on this one the shrimp is not very big so we'll try the whole shrimp see how that works When we're trying to hold shrimp, we hook him right up under the horn, miss the uh, black spot, and uh, I keep him alive. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get, y'all. You want to fish on the eddy side of the uh, piling. That's couple reasons that fish tend to hold in that spot and it's easier for you to hold your kayak in that spot. If you get a big fish on, you know, you could tie up, but if you get a big fish on, uh, it doesn't work out a lot of times tying up because I like being able to chase the fish or go with the fish when I need to. Oh, fill the tap. Got my bait. 
Yeah. Mm. So you can go through a lot of bait. Fiddler crabs are great to use. Okay. Couldn't get any right now, so I'm all. Uh, break this shrimp in half and use the head part. We'll get a good sheep's head off of this one. They love crustaceans and crabs. Barnacles, oysters, clams, shellfish. Okay. Drop that down to the bottom again. Okay, I've got the uh, bottom sweeper jig on with a whole live shrimp. Pro start record. Wow, got him on. Got something. Whoa, <laughs> good one. Good one. <clears throat> wow, this is a donkey. This is a good one. Whoa, <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep him away from the pilings. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, good redfish. Wow. What a redfish. Wow. Oh, he's not fished yet. Oh, wow. Man. Woo! <laughs> Beautiful redfish. Wow. <laughs> It's not hooked yet. <laughs> there we go. Ah, <laughs> woo! <laughs> Man, what a red fish! Woo! <laughs> woo! Woo! Man. <clears throat> He felt good. He felt good. So uh, let's get him secure. Measure him out. Oh. Take a look at him. <clears throat> woo! 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 Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Yeah. What a fish. Okay, 20, 25 inches. So he's uh, definitely a slot size. And you can keep one. So uh, we're definitely going to keep him. So, wow. Woo. Oh, that was awesome. Woo. Hey, y'all. Just want to show you this. Uh, I modified Carolina rig, just tied the hook straight straight on to the line. I have a bead, the 516 speed, and a, a three quarter ounce uh, sinker, barrel sinker. So uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, it's real effective for sheephead, ground pilings, bridge pilings, oysters. Barnacles. And uh, 
put a whole strip on and uh, just took him uh, right behind a dark spot underneath and out uh, right at the board. So uh, let's just drop kind of bounce around. So let's see what we can do. That was very promising. That's a uh, man, that's a hog, a donkey, <coughs> sheep's head. And I apologize for my voice. I've had a little bit of the crud uh, last couple of weeks. So my voice is suffering. But, uh, whoo! Yeah. Let's see what we get here. Water's 12 foot deep. So we're going to just drop it down. And kind of bounce it off the bottom. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. That's what we've been looking for. Are we good? Secure first, and this is awful. Y'all, that's worth waiting on, and uh, wow, look at that one. See. Got him on uh, modified Carolina rig and uh, pretty good sized shrimp. So let's see what he measures out. 19 inches, 19 and a half, 19 and a half inches. So, uh, <clears throat> again, take a look at that rascal. A uh, beautiful sheep set. Oh yeah, got him on, got something on, feels like a good one, woo, <laughs> yeah, good sheep set, woo, <laughs> man, man, oh man, just barely feel him with the bite, woo, Hey, looks like he's broken somebody loose before he's got another rig in his mouth. Another hook in his mouth. So, uh, there. Look at those teeth. Woo! Let's see uh, if he's long enough. He's got to be minimum 12 inches long. I think he is. Be good eating size. Yes. 16. 16 inches. 
So uh, we'll definitely keep him. <laughs> so uh, it's probably a good supper with this rascal. Woo! Yeah. Let's see. I was all almost ready to move the spot. So one more time. That's where it is where your sheep said. There we go. Here we go. We got it. Bang, 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 bang. Wow. This is a good one, y'all. This is a good one. Let's get away from these pollens. Mm. Try the mouth a little bit. Yeah, it's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do I have here? I think I have my first, well, not my first one, but it's the first one in the kayak, black drum. Uh, and you can help that. Woo! Beautiful fish. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, buddy. Whoop, whoop, <laughs> man. I tell you, whoo, that was fun. That was uh, uh, got him on the sweeper jig with the uh, live shrimp. So look at there. Look at there, y'all. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Beautiful black drum. Beautiful. Let's see what he measures out. We're, he's uh, 20, 20 inches. So he's, he definitely falls in the slot. Well, y'all, I'm going to let this guy go. I've got enough for supper. Got two sheep's head. Redfish, and so we're gonna tow this guy and uh, let him go. He's definitely a keeper, but we're gonna let him go, let him grow. Get some oxygen going through his gills. It should be good to go. Let's see if I can catch one more of these rascals. There he goes! Whoa! <laughs> awesome! Whoa! Whoa! Hey y'all, it's about uh, 15 minutes to 2 and I'm going to call it a day. We've had a productive day, uh, some missed opportunities, but we got some, uh, you know, some beautiful fish, 25-inch redfish, 19-inch sheep's head, a 16-inch sheep's head, and a 20-inch black drum, which we let go, and we're headed back into the landing. Probably going to take me 45 minutes to get back in. I'm going to troll on the way back in. So maybe we might pick up something uh, trolling. But I uh, just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. I invite you to, to subscribe. That encourages me to make uh, more videos. And there's no cost to it. Uh, just enjoy doing it and uh, hope you enjoyed watching it. God bless. Bye.